what should I be betting for the Super Bowl? I, I don't love this, this spread, right? And it, to me, it's all about the number. What it's spread do you have now, three? Uh, I, two and a half is much, much more prevalent. Okay. So really? if you have two and a half, I like the pass. If you're at three, I think you got to like the Rams. And, and that sounds a little wacky until you think, well, three is the most common margin of victory in the NFL. So when you have a favorite around three, they tend to win by three exactly about 10% of the time. So for me, I, I think the spread is razor mm. tight. But I do like a couple of prop bets. Okay. All right, now, before we get the prop bets, I just have one real quick question about the spread. I, I talked to somebody who was here saying, uh, I'm going to buy it to three and a half. Now, does that make sense to do? Or do you understand what, what did I even mean? Because I don't, I don't really no, get no, it. No, no, I, abso I absolutely did. Okay. I, it doesn't make sense. Here's why. Okay. Is every point has a certain value. So, for example, three is worth about 20 cents. All right? Meaning if you're, let's say, minus uh, three and you want to buy it down to two and a half because you like the favor. It's worth about 20 cents. They charge you 25 cents. So anytime a sportsbook lets you buy a half a point, they're charging you slightly more or maybe even more than slightly more than it's worth. So it's almost like saying, should I buy something that's worth a dollar for a dollar 20? The answer is no. Okay. Mm. Well, uh, well, well, let me ask you this. I mean, it, if it's so tight, the, that half point could be the difference between winning and losing. Yes. And you still wouldn't buy it. Well, but, but because it's it's one of those things, you know what it's like insurance and blackjack. Right, I right? never buy or that. It's like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's yes. In general, you just never buy okay. that. Okay. Imagine, I'm, I'm I'm assuming Michael that you have house insurance, right? Yes. But if your house insurance was seven times as expensive, like whatever it is, they made it seven times as expensive. What would you do? You'd probably not buy, right? So sometimes, even though you want to protect yourself, you don't want to protect yourself if it's too expensive to protect yourself. Now, let me ask you this. So every, three points seems to be the, uh, everybody thinks it's going to be really tight. It could be a three-point game. Does Vegas or any book ever accept a bet, okay, I'm, I'm betting the push? Yeah, they will say what is the margin of victory, and you can actually bet almost any margin of victory. You can say Patriots by three and get a certain payoff. Or you can say Patriots by more than 31 and get a big payoff. So Super Bowl, they have almost 500 prop bets, and exact score or, or exact margin of victory is one of them. All right, so what are the prop bets you like? Okay, I love Patriots over 119 rushing yards as a team. 119 over rushing. My rationale is this. Week 16, they ran the heck out of the ball. A lot of two backs. 17, they did. So they beat the Jets and the Bills pretty easily. By week, they ran a bunch against the Chargers, and they ran a bunch against Kansas City. The Rams give up the most yards per carry in the NFL against the Rush, the most defensively. Also, if you look at the 49er game against the Rams, both of them, I think they're an analog, a good analogy to this game. The 49ers ran a good bit of two backs and was very successful running the ball. So I expect the Pats... I like them to win the game, which means they're probably going to run the ball even more if they have a lead. And I like over 119 yards as one of my best bets of the week. And what was the other? What was the other prop? I like under 10 and a half points combined in the first quarter. And here's why. And I tweeted out this trend. It's amazing. Patriots eight Super Bowls. Brady Belichick before this one. Total points scored in the first quarter three. Not three points a game, three points in the first quarter wow. of all eight games. That's amazing. That's two games worth of eight quarters, right? Two games, they scored three points. It's not a fluke. Belichick starts these Super Bowls super conservatively. His theory is you can't win a game in the first quarter, the Super Bowl, but you can lose it. And ten and a half is a nice number. And the Rams tend to start slow in these kind of games under ten and a half first quarter.